today. The event brought together people who are homeless or at risk to connect them with vital services and support. It's often easy to forget just how many people in the New England region are doing it tough. But days like today show an alarming number of families in search of a helping hand. For the fourth year running, Tamworth's Homeless Connect event brings together those in need with essential service providers. We have Australian Hearing on board this year for the first time, so um, we have health checks, hearing checks, um, all sorts of things, complimentary services. So. From live music to free food, clothing and haircuts, more than 700 people turned out for today's event and they came from all different walks of life. I suppose the most common conception of all appearance of homeless is people um, sleeping on the streets. There's a lot of couch surfing, a lot of people that just go from um, the one, maybe one rent payment away from being evicted. Like 19 year old Darcy Willett, who was staying at the youth refuge. I think it's pretty fantastic. It, like, I've been to Victoria and they don't have anything like this. Well, I got my nails done and I went to get a couple of clothes because I don't have very many. Or 34-year-old James Draper, who's on the high priority list for public housing. It's his second time at Homeless Connect Day. Oh, it's great. There's plenty, plenty for offer. Lots of free giveaways. Uh, a lot of, lot of organisations you can connect with. <laughs> Andrew Breedis, Prime 7 News. The New England Regional Art Museum believes